Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate how to take out and replace a hard drive for an Asus UL ADV series laptop. First of all, make sure that it is powered off and not plugged in. I'll flip over the laptop. There are two faceplates. There's one for the RAM sticks and one for the hard drive. The faceplate for the hard drive is held into place by two screws that we're going to take out. These screws are fairly small, so if you don't want to lose them, put them somewhere where it's easy to see. A towel works well. Now after you unscrew it, the face plate just wiggles off. So this is the hard drive. It's re really simple, this plastic flap. You just need to pull that way, and it just pops off. So this is the hard drive. When you want to replace it, this bracket here, you need to take it off. There are two screws on either side. You'll need to unscrew it and put it onto your new hard drive and uh, yeah then to put it back in place it back into the bay slide it into place place the faceplate back on and screw it back in And that is how you replace a hard drive for an Asus UL ADV series laptop. Alright, so in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to change the hard drive on a uh, mid-2009 Unibody MacBook Pro. So things you're going to need is a Unibody MacBook Pro, a uh, 00 Phillips screwdriver, and a T6 Torque uh, screwdriver. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the laptop is off and just turn it on its back. Uh, I'm using an anti-static bag just to make sure it doesn't damage the, the MacBook. Um, so what you're going to want to do is take out all the screws on the exterior of the laptop. So just take your double Phillips screwdriver and start unscrewing. Now for the purpose of this video I've already removed all the screws. So take out the little back panel to expose the internals of the uh, MacBook. This is the part we're interested in. Um, you have two screws, two black screws which you must remove with the screwdriver, with the double Phillips. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Now once that's done, uh, just remove this and put it on the side. And you have a little latch on the hard drive, so just go ahead and pull that out. Uh, remove the static connector and the power cable. Now be careful since this is very fragile. And there we go, the hard drive is out. Now uh, the final process actually involves grabbing your T6 uh, Torx uh, screwdriver. Now, uh, it actually has four little screws on the side. If you can see, you have four little connectors on the side of the hard drive. These are actually used to hold it in place. Now, for the process of this video, I'm actually going to remove the screws, but uh, using your T6 uh, screwdriver, you'd want to remove them and put them on the new one. Now, once those have been removed, just grab the new hard drive, place everything back in. So the way it, is, it works is it just put it on the bottom. You just have to place it on the side. Screw the little connector back in using the double O Phillips screwdriver. Now there's one more piece of information you need to know before uh, placing the back panel cover on. That is that there's actually an order of the uh, screws which you must put in. So you can't just place them in any random order. Um, so the way it is is you have to actually put them in the order that are shown on the screen. So by screwing those screws in that particular order, um, after that, all they have left to do is just reinstall uh, all your software, whether it's Windows or uh, Snow Leopard, and you're done.